The Kaduna State residents have expressed joy and relief as the government relaxes the 24-hour curfew imposed due to recent unrest and the vandalism of private and government properties in the metropolis. The bustling Kaduna and Zara metropolises have been a stark contrast in the past two days under the strict 24-hour curfew. Businesses are, are springing back to life, with traders opening their shops with smiles, eager to recover from the losses incurred during the lockdown. Business owners and traders say the protest has done more harm than good, affecting business and innocent Nigerians without cause. Some of the residents commended the state government and security operatives' efforts in, claiming this, in, the, in calming the situation, leading to the successful relaxation of the curfew, with citizens free to carry out their daily activities peacefully. That protest for 10 days is set back. Even the protesters, what are they gaining? By, uh, except by looting and destroying people's property. So everybody should wake up and try what each individual can do. And government also should try and make power available and make fuel price to come down by making our refinery within work. Because even ourselves around this side, we can never see it so easy for us like that. Because all the things we are buying, the money is there. We look at the transportation and people are just walking up and down, you know, without work, nothing. So now, as we are here like this now, we can never stop this protest. But the better is ahead because we need to do something about this country. If not so, because of the hold up here. So we don't really know what's happening in this country. It's really affected, it really, really affected. You know, easy now. Since on Thursday, we've been there house. You know, easy. Like, it's seriously, you know, it's affected us well, well. That's why you see, say, this country, they just release and small. We got to come out, we come out and see how this will be. Since to eight, at least there's something. Anything we will do from eight to six, we close, we go, and we pray for all these things to come down. And the government has to reason with us too. All this protest, not that people just come out to protest like that. There's something they need to listen to us and at least do something. It's not easy, Oga. Okay? Now, metropolis, especially, are uh, having uh, difficult difficulties in so many things, food stuff, everything. But as the way you are listening to six to six, at least people are now looking for way to uh, feed their families. At least I appreciate the way the governor has done for Kaduna State people. If the president come up and tell people that this is uh, this is those, those demand people are make, uh, this is what I'm going to do. At least the whole thing will come come, come down. The whole tension will come down. It's just because they, are, they don't have this country in mind. The coffee has helped to de-escalate the tension because we all saw what happened on Monday. Actually, the government, it was a quick response from the side of the government. If not, we know our state here, Kaduna State. It would have turned to a different thing entirely. But thank God the tension has been de-escalated and we now have um, our freedom to move from 6 to 8 p.m. Nigerians are still angry. If the government won't take any action that will mitigate our suffering, we'll go back to the street. Others, however, are calling on the government to listen to the yearnings of Nigerians or there would be another protest stressing that nationwide protest is a great lesson to Nigerian leaders. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.